It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Tuesday, the 2nd of August. I'm Michael Groff. Despite the fact that it's hot and humid out there and it sure feels like monsoon conditions, thunderstorm activity will be confined to mainly the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona today and tomorrow. But this lull in activity doesn't last all that long because by late in the week, this weekend and through much of next week, we expect a fairly dramatic increase in the number of showers and storms across the state and an active pattern to return to the southwest. All right, let's talk about it. First, we'll look at the almanac from yesterday. 105 degrees the afternoon high, 85 was the morning low, and that's very close to those climatological averages of 106 and 85. As we take a look outside right now at 9.35 a.m., mostly sunny sky out there, and we're sitting at 95 degrees at Sky Harbor, but it is steamy. Dew point up at 65, relative humidity 37%. The winds are light, and the barometer is steady. The synoptic or large-scale weather pattern across much of the nation has been very stagnant for the last 10 days, but within that, we have seen some subtle changes, and around here, even the smallest change can make a big difference in how our monsoon behaves. We have an area of high pressure that sagged to the south over New Mexico, and that's pretty much cut off the belt of easterly waves from coming into the region. And with warmer air now in the mid-levels, things have become quite a bit more stable across Arizona, so that's going to limit the number of showers and storms here today and tomorrow. But certainly the atmospheric moisture down at the surface level is still plentiful. And you can feel that when you step outside today and tomorrow. But with time, that area of high pressure will shift back off to the north and east. And that should open the door for deeper easterly flow and more waves to return to the region later this week. Here's the watch warning map. And the main weather headline revolves around the excessive heat warnings and heat advisories over the nation's midsection. The convective outlook, we've got a risk of severe storms for the upper Midwest, the Western Great Lakes, as well as a marginal risk over parts of Illinois, Kentucky, and Tennessee. In Arizona, much of the state in the green, but I think the thunderstorm threat really just stays confined to the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona today. And the precipitation outlook valid through Tuesday morning of next week. Rain amounts here in Phoenix around a half inch. We could see one to three inches up north for the rim country, the eastern mountains, and down to the south. Your amount will vary. But the weather pattern should turn more active here late this week and this weekend. We'll detail that and everything else as we get to the models right now. Have a look at it. This is the GFS. It's the 06Z run. This is valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. High pressure remains in control here over the southwest. Warmer air in the mid-levels. But for us down at the surface, mostly sunny, hot, and humid today. Widely scattered showers and thunderstorms possible over the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona, the southeast part of the state. And yeah, there might just be an isolated storm somewhere here in the southern deserts, but the chance of rain in Phoenix, while technically not zero, is just not enough to put into the forecast. High temperatures this afternoon, 102 to 106. Tonight, partly cloudy, warm, muggy, overnight lows in the 80s to near 90, and then tomorrow more the same, mostly sunny in the morning, some clouds in the afternoon, hot and humid, highs 102 to 106. Now by tomorrow night, there's a small chance a storm could come into the lower deserts, We'll start to focus on the weather pattern changing by the time we get to Thursday. Our area of high pressure over New Mexico will start to scoot out off across the Plain States. And that's going to open the door to deeper southeasterly or easterly flow coming in here. And so moisture should start to increase for scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly in the afternoon and evening. Still kind of a warm day on Thursday. I expect high temperatures could top out around 105. By Friday, we see a broad cyclonic flow developing to the south of us. And so combine that with high pressure across the plains, a stronger southeasterly or easterly flow develops now. And we see these disturbances embedded in that flow coming in as well. And the problem that we had with the weather pattern last week was there was just very high amounts of moisture and no triggering mechanism to kick off all that moisture into showers and storms in an organized fashion. This pattern sees slightly less atmospheric moisture, although still above climatological normals, but stronger winds aloft, more cyclonic flow. So that should help to get showers and storms going a bit more organized, slightly drier air in the low levels. Therefore, we should manage to get some outflow boundaries and storms to get better organized as well. So we'll kick the rain chances up to about 40% for Friday, Saturday, And Sunday and high temperatures each day should fall off back into the mid 90s to around 101, especially by this weekend. Going into next week, not much change to the overall weather pattern. Scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms continue. They will be most prominent in the afternoon and evening hours, but could occur just about any time. Locally, heavy rain will be possible. High temperatures mid 90s to around 100. But keep in mind, 
that not everybody will get rain and there will be inactive periods. If one day turns out to be more active, the next day probably less so. Then here's a week from today. This is Tuesday, the 9th of August, and the pattern just rolls on. High pressure sits off to the north and east. Maybe lower pressure or a cutoff low off to the south and west of us. Deeper easterly, southeasterly flow continues. So scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms around. Then as we go out 10 days, this is Thursday the 11th, a rather high amplitude pattern for the summertime. Big ridge out across the Plain States. And maybe the flow aloft switches more out of the southeast to south at that time, but still showing evidence of disturbances coming in here for, you guessed it, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon and evening, and high temperatures likely remaining below normal. All right, here's a look at rainfall for Phoenix going out through the 16th of August, coming off of the GFS Ensemble. The mean is up around an inch and a quarter, so active weather is expected through mid-month. And temperatures off the European Ensemble generally speaking, will be at or below normal through the entire period here. And that is some very good news, especially after that oppressive July. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. Music fans, check it out. It's available 24-7, 365, talking about that streaming station that you just can't get enough of. It's like chocolate for your ears. It's called KMGX. We play a ton of music, have a lot of fun while doing that. It's myself and the one and only Michelle involved in the programming and operation of that station. So do give it a listen. I will leave a link to it in the description, and you can thank me later. And meanwhile, thank you so much for watching all of your continued support. It is greatly appreciated. You guys be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there, and have yourselves a delicious Tuesday.